welcome back to Life with Mrs. B. Today I've got a food shopping haul for y'all. A haul for y'all. My hair's in a plait, a pleat, a braid. What do you want to call it? Because I've worn it like this for the past two days. So today I'm also wearing it like this just to get through this day. Literally just to get through this day. So today, food shopping haul from Lidl. As I said, I only spent £42 today. I don't think that's bad. We have a lot of fruit and veg left we didn't eat a lot of fruit this week so i didn't really need to buy a lot of fruit this week so that cut down quite a bit of the shopping and also we just didn't really need a lot of stuff so i'm going to share with you guys what i got first up i got a big bag from matalan and here we have got a loaf of white bread this is just for do you guys need me to tell you what white bread's for? It's for sandwiches, it's for uh, toast, it's for, yeah. Then we got a tiger loaf, I'm gonna make a batch of soup today for lunch. I got these, uh, I went to the supermarket hungry. Top, top, tip. Never go to the supermarket hungry, because you just buy stuff. These are just some crisps, mature cheddar and onion, which looked really good. <laughs> and we're gonna watch TV and stuff today, so I thought that'll be good. Some sesame seeds, these are just for, I just use these in a lot of like Asian dishes, like a little sprinkle on top, makes it look super fancy. Some British blueberries, these were on offer, it just says they're from the UK, it doesn't say whereabouts in the UK. And then last in this bag, Sky Pick Biscuits, she picked these chocolate chip cookies, I think she was enticed by the size of them. Okay, up next in this bag, let's have a little look. Pringles, see, I, I don't always buy this kind of stuff. I'm actually going to eat these today. I really am. We're watching Heartland today after we've had lunch and all that jazz. Some toothpaste, mouthwash. This is the I asked Sky to pick it. It is the six in one. The six in one. <laughs> a tin, a four pack. Oh, my head's pickled. Baked beans, because we have beans on toast like once a week. And Things are always good to have in your house, aren't they? Some toilet bleach for my toilet. Again, I don't need to explain that. And a can of energy drink for Thomas. I get him two of these a week and he gobbles them up like there is no tomorrow. Next up, I got a two pack, two pack? Two pack of Romaine hearts. And then our guy asked for this. He's seen it next to, like in the bakery section. I don't know, real dairy squirty cream. Like, I, he did say when we were bringing in the shop and you could put this in my mouth, mum, and we could make it a challenge and you could put it on YouTube. So, there you go. That's what kind of kids I'm raising. <laughs> but next up, a bag of Granny Smith apples. And then a bag of Grey Browns. Some easy peelers. We ate loads of these yesterday and they were so good. So good. A ton of red seedless grapes. Oh, there's a wasp. Go away. Wasp is gone. <laughs> next up some bananas and a cucumber. So that's the last bits in this bag. Let's have a look and see what's in the next one. In the next bag I have got a giant, giant cauliflower. This thing is gonna make good, good food. Does that make sense? No, I was gonna say it's gonna make good cauliflower cheese, but I don't know if it's gonna be cauliflower cheese. A sweet potato, so I'm making sweet potato and carrot soup. One carton of passata, two cartons of passata. Some dark chocolate, soy, dessert things for Thomas. Another can of energy drink for Thomas. Tin of chickpeas, tin of kidney beans, and multivitamins for my kidney winkles. All right, let's get rid of that bag. Here's another one. And then after this, there's only one more bag. So in here, I don't normally buy cereal. You guys know if you watch the videos. Cereal, if I'm honest, cereal is like so, so rubbish it's got like hardly any nutrition in it it's not very good for you it's it doesn't really do anything for you you eat it and you're still hungry and you have a giant bowl it's got so much sugar so i don't normally buy it but i thought as a treat i would get the kids some so we'll see if they eat it if they like it because they quite often don't even like cereal so the ingredients i mean they're not terrible it's like flour 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 maize sugar, cocoa powder, cocoa powder, glucose syrup, which is another name for sugar, and salt. So the ingredients aren't ridiculous there, that's not terrible, but we'll see how that goes down. This will make you laugh. Two more cartons of passata. Some sweetened soy milk. I normally get unsweetened, but I didn't have any. So I got one sweetened and I thought kids could try it with this. We don't really drink cow's milk in our house anymore. Well, 
like ever um but they don't really like soy milk so they don't drink it anymore like unless it's in something but i thought we'd try the sweetened one and see if it goes with the cereal <laughs> we shall see a packet of multi-grain crackers uh carton of, another carton of passata so that's five we're having meatballs this week um might be like paula well where's your meat for meatballs um well actually i got the meat last week reduced big packets of pork mints like this for 90 pence so they're in the freezer um what else are we having enchiladas and um, for that i'm using like kitty beans and rice and veggies inside it not any meat and then what else homemade pizza i didn't get any pizza this week i'm going back to homemade i'm gonna find the time to make my own homemade pizzas um because they were always the best but i need that to make my pizza sauce some more bananas because bananas are generally always a good shout in our house right that is that bag done last bag and then i can start cleaning and putting away and get something to eat because i'm hungry very hungry the kids had not shown here um which was included in the 42 pounds the kids got something each from the bakery at Lidl so we've got some wraps just plain tortillas and then a pack of eggs which look rather beat up no they're fine they're fine just some large eggs and then next in this bag some what are these cheese and chive potato snacks they're like the good ones in the big bag you get everybody always likes those love it some some toothpaste a tub of soft cheese another tub of soft cheese some dairy free spread some of these crispy slices these are really handy for taking out they come like wrapped up individually so they're good for taking to church and stuff like that and then you can just like pass them out keep the kids quiet some black bacon some double cream i'm making a keto cheeseburger soup for myself i'm back on my keto tomorrow not today <laughs> back on it tomorrow some this was it's called a grana padano grana padano it's kind of like a it's a hard italian cheese so it's kind of like parmesan <laughs> and then mozzarella for my pizzas all oh, those boys are showing in there some beef mince a packet of you guys can't see it helps if i show you stuff doesn't it some just fromage sprays some prunes some midget gems and and that is it guys that is all my shopping i hope you enjoyed the haul as i said i'm now going to go and tidy it up because it's just there's a lot of stuff everywhere and i need to clean some of my fridge shelves out before i even put the stuff away so thanks for joining me guys and i will see you tomorrow uh, with a new video i think it's a daily vlog you're getting tomorrow from when we went to Almond Valley Heritage Park, Heritage Centre. So I'll see you then guys, bye.